Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will talk about a work from the collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. on those days for new works and new conversations. Hi, I'm Jessica, the Art Bridges Fellow at the Cincinnati Art Museum, and today I'm going to be talking about a very unique work from our collection. This piece, titled Three Quarter Time, is a sculpture by Judy Pfaff, an artist who engages in painting, sculpture, installation art, and other forms of visual art. While she is labeled by some critics as the pioneer of installation art, this doesn't even begin to cover her practice and her accomplishments. Pfaff's website in fact refers to her work as painting in space, a description which better encapsulates the work she does across all media. Pfaff's work is meant to respond to and transform the space it's in, to have a living relationship with its environment while being void of any implied narrative, leaving the interpretation of the work entirely up to the viewer and their experience of each piece in the setting in which it lives. To see this piece photographed, rather than up close and in person, in a gallery space to which it responds, is an entirely different experience than we were probably expected to have with the work. Let us then engage with it using close looking and our imagination. First, let's take a really close look at the piece. From far away, it might be quite overwhelming to the eye, but once you look closer, you might begin to find some shapes and figures you recognize. Starting at the top, there is a pretty immediate repetition of shape, as we see these more two-dimensional circular hoops or discs. Contained within the hoops appears to be some sort of thin plastic material, which has circles cut out of it, behind a variety of metal forms, which also employ circles. To the left, we have this explosion of wire that almost looks like a bouquet with thin stems and circular flowers. To the right, there is a three-dimensional object with a similar shape to a bowling pin, created out of a spaced out stack of wire hoops and connected by a couple loops of wire that wind around the outside of the form. Above this, we can see an almost cloud-like shape formed out of a series of connected half circles. Towards the bottom of the piece, we can also see some recognizable objects, such as limes, fish, and glass bottles. The glass bottles are particularly interesting, as they are rendered in wire next to the objects themselves, the wire almost seeming to make sense of itself by responding to the objects near it, just as the sculpture was likely intended to do in the room it occupied. Now that you've looked a bit closer at the piece, imagine yourself standing in the middle of a gallery for which this work was specifically designed. What does the rest of the gallery look like in your imagination? Is there other art on the walls near this work, or is it alone? If there are other artworks, what do they look like? Why do you imagine those artworks in the same space as this one? What connections might you draw between them? What about the room itself? How big is the gallery? What color are the walls? How is it lit? Finally, let's take a moment to think about the title of the work. Do you think the name Three Quarter Time helps you better understand the piece, or does it confuse you? Where have you maybe heard this term before? Since we've already answered quite a few questions today, I challenge you to end this cam look by making a sculpture of your own. Using only objects you find around the house, create a sculpture that you feel responds to the room you'd like to put it in. Maybe this means you'll use colors that are already in the room, or shapes and objects that relate to the purpose of the room. Maybe the connections are less obvious and more abstract. Tell us about your creation and your inspiration in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for today's Cam Look. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. for new works and new conversations.